Hey everybody, I wanted to do an update on the Catherine McBanua trial and some of the documents and letters, cell house letters that might be used to Catherine's defense. And I found these on the Leon County court page. And I'm just going to go ahead and read to you this one letter that's written to Judge Hackinson and it was dated July 16th of 2020. And that must have been before his retirement. This is from Emeta T. Jones, and I'm just going to go ahead and read to you the letter that is in Catherine's defense. To Honorable Judge Hackinson and other people in position of power, I hope this writing finds you in good faith with better understanding. Uh, okay, sidebar, I'm going to have some trouble reading this. It's kind of a grainy uh, letter, as you can see. Maybe you can read along with me. As you may not know who I am. My name is Amita P. Jones, a current inmate of Leon County Detention Facility. I am writing you this letter to try to get a better understanding of the judicial system. I am trying to get an understanding because of a lovely woman I have had the blessing of coming into interaction with, Magbanua. Yes, as you know her as, but I know her as a genuine friend, as I know this is a very tumultuous time for not only her, but also her family and ultimately her children, being a mother myself. Seeing another go through something so difficult and tedious, such as what Banua is experiencing is very stressful as I know and understand how sinuous this must be for everyone involved. However, I feel that when you are the innocent to even worse, I say that because we were taught equality for all. Sorry, I can't read some of this. Sorry, but I blank a lot of inequality being present. As I've kept up with this intriguing and interesting case, to me, it just seems no one is trying to see her for who she is. I see her as a dedicated mother, devoted wife, hard worker, incredible queen. It seems as time blank and days something the system is trying to paint an image of a monster in the minds of the unknown. Everybody has made mistakes in some part of their life. From toddler age, we are taught to higher authority figures. How are we able to continue to do when we something feel the one's higher power is being something with their position? I am something for the judge or past judgment that no one is improperly doing their job but i do feel that sometimes people of power who see the truth looks imprudence i feel as a woman and mother that sometimes the truth is either ignored or overlooked simply because we are that woman i believe judicial system should be fair and honest, not just for one, but for all. And I feel that Miss Magbanua is being treated very unfairly. I do apologize and have have any disrespect, something sympathy to the victims of the family. Let's see what she says here. I do apologize and do have the deepest sympathy to the victims and the family. That's good, but has have anyone ever stopped to take something there are multiple victims involved, I guess, into consideration, or there could be multiple victims involved 
anyone stopped to think psychologically how any or all of this unfortunate, saddening circumstances affects Miss Man makes Magbanua's life. This was a dedicated, hardworking mother who has taken been taken away from her children. We're not able to properly tell her mother goodbye. A story and sorry, some of this is illegible. I can't read. And everyone deserves a second chance. Not only life, but being forgiven, not to simply just be something and held accountable of things out of her control. We are all held accountable for our actions, true enough, but when will enough be enough? When will the guilty is sent free and the innocent prison or when... Everyone sees the truth when is is too late. I understand we all have faults. We all have something. But even Da Vinci messed up a beautiful painting and still made billions. <laughs> Mr. Hackinson, I write this letter in hopes that you could see Mrs. Magbanua for what she truly deserves, and that's a second chance. I've never something a woman so humble, patient, self-reserved. She's a role model to so many young girls and women, including myself. She is the true definition of a conduit to a murder. Sorry, that's my sidebar. Definition of a wonder woman. The empowerment that instilled in this imprisoned, self determined, self disciplined queen is one that I'm. I'm pursuing so I could be able to incorporate those factors into my three young, beautiful daughters in today's society and much violence and disrespect and is corrupting our youth. And it's amazing blessing to have older, matured generations exemplary these Good characteristics. Mr. Hackensam, we are always taught to lead by example. Show your good heart and believe in a second chance. I thank you and really appreciate your time for your taking away from a very something day to read this and take into consideration. May God bless. And this is signed. It's Hitsa T. Jones. I have some thoughts about this. This doesn't look like it's going to be very good evidence. There is no claims made. Just this is character evidence from another inmate in prison. So take away what you will. I hope you enjoyed this letter. Sorry for my slow reading. I tried to do the best that I could. And um, hopefully more videos to come before the trial. I wasn't going to make any, but I've stumbled on some more um, things. And follow my page subscribe to my page if you can like and comment below and your thoughts and feelings about this case thank you and have a great day